This is my friend Fabio. He lives in my favorite city in the world, Capri. The small Italian island off the Amalfi coast, population 13,000 but visited by 2 million people a year. Now Capri is known for its caprese salad, lemons, linens, and an ocean so blue you gotta see it to believe it. So how the hell did I meet Fabio? Let's rewind. In 2017, while on a family Euro trip, my parents took us to Capri. We stayed at the JK Place, a five-star hotel with impeccable service and hosts such celebrities such as Bradley Cooper and Zach Longo? Fucking hate that guy. Anyways, that's another video. Long story short, we had an amazing time on that trip. So the following year, I went back to Italy with my ex-girlfriend. We'd spent some time in Rome and decided to drive down the Amalfi Coast. I wanted to take her to Capri. But the JK place was not in my budget, and neither was a yacht. So we went on TripAdvisor, not sponsored unfortunately, and began looking up hotels on the island. Villa Cilia, a bed and breakfast with 5 stars and 250 reviews. I started reading these reviews, and every single one mentioned Fabio. Every. Single. One. And I was like, I gotta meet this fucking guy. So we booked Villa Cilia and headed to Capri. Guys like uh, the Pope of Capri. We checked in and met Fabio. He basically dropped everything he was doing and gave us a tour, made us reservations. Caprese Parino, Capri, life goals. He only had availability for one night, so we made calls to other hotels in case we wanted to stay longer. We had so much fun, we stayed two extra nights. And that's another video. If you come to Villa Celia, say hi to Fabio. This guy is the man, the myth, the legend. Check the reviews on TripAdvisor. He's the guy they're talking about. Thank you. My new best friend. Thank you. <laughs> For the third year in a row, I came back to Capri with no family, no girlfriend, just to visit my friend Fabio for his birthday. Welcome, Zach. Ciao, ragazzi. I have less baggage this time. No girlfriend. <laughs> We're back. Yeah, Fabio. Tanti auguri. Get you a bottle of champagne oh, for your birthday. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Grazie. Oh my god. How old are you now? 21? 25. 25. Plus 50. Pizza fritta. Fry pizza. After checking in the Via La Celia, Fabio's friends were having a birthday dinner for him. We ate, we drank. He's vegan, vegan. We ate some more. We drank some more. After dinner, we ended up drinking some more. After all, it was his birthday. Three in the morning. Where's your underwear? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we met up with some of Fabio's girlfriends and thought it was a good idea to go all the way down to the beach. Yeah, no, fuck that. Hi. Buongiorno. Yes, good morning. We got here. My sandwich with tomato, salad, and eggs from the garden. We're going to your garden now, yeah? Yeah. I show you my yes, crazy chicken and duck. Oh, if no. I pick the eggs, it won't attack me. No, 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 no. It's very, it's very kind. <laughs> it's a nice chicken. Yeah, very nice. A good workout. This trip was different than the last two. I got to see parts of the island I didn't even know existed. And I also got to see how much Fabio really does care about animals. Blue lizard. I show you the picture. This lizard lives just on the Farayoni rocks. Blue lizard of Capri. This kind of lizard, is the name is Podarchis farayonensis. It's amazing. It's blue like the sea. Spectacular. I once watched him pick up a bug off the sidewalk because he didn't want it to get stepped on. If he only knew, I was the Luca Magnata of fly swatting. This guy's Dr. Doolittle over here. Whoa. <laughs> After a few years, chickens will stop laying eggs. So instead of killing them, the people of Capri call Fabio. He takes the chickens to live on the farm for the rest of their lives. What a nice guy. Better life. Yeah. Heaven for them. Forza. This guy missing his feathers. It looks like my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
omelet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Share, bro. Wow. Ooh. It's soft. Yeah. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> After feeding the birds, we hiked down the mountain through the town to meet up with Luigi, who was preparing lunch. What are you cooking here? I'm going to do a basmati rice with vegetable, Indian style. A little curry. The spices. Smells so good. Green tomatoes. Honestly, after traveling for three weeks, this is probably one of my favorite memories of the trip. Just drinking some wine and shooting the shit with my friends. This place is the fucking best. Look at it when the sun comes out, large. Opium. Are well, they having sex? Everybody fuck. Everybody fuck. <laughs> Not me, what the fuck? Villa Jovis. This is very old. This is marble. Fabio had me doing more hiking on this trip than I've done in 10 years living two minutes from Runyon Canyon in Los Angeles. Ancient Roman ruins. <laughs> we go through the forest, there's stairs. <laughs> Villa Jovis is a Roman palace on Capri, built by Emperor Tiberius and completed in AD 27. It was built on the top of the mountain to provide privacy and security. Behind the villa, there is a famous Tiberius's Leap, a place where disobedient servants and undesired guests were hurled over the cliff. Wish I had known that for my last trip. Fabio was just telling me that back in the day, the ancient, what, the Romans used to throw people off here? Yeah. They used to take prisoners and just... Ciao. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's scary. My Uber is here. Behind the mountain is Anacata. Uh, the top of the island is there. Monte Solano. Large. Large. We will go to Anacapri. Anacapri. Troppo grande. Anacapri is another town on the island which is located in the mountains which is only accessible by bus or by car. We are here, Anacapri. We have arrived. From Anacapri, you can go to Monte Solaro, which is the highest point of the island. To get there, you have to take a chairlift, which usually has a line. Unless, of course, you know Fabio. You can skip that line. So we just left Anacapri, taking the chairlift all the way to the top. New side of the mountain today. Look at that. Ciao, Bella. Questo è tuo pranzo? <laughs> Vegano? I can't believe I've been here three times. I've never done this before. Look how beautiful that is. Large. At this point, you're probably wondering what the fuck are these three towering giant rock formations just off the island? Fala Leone, which means lighthouse. If you sail through with your lover, exchange a kiss for good luck. I forgot to do that. There is Naples, look the Vesuvio, the vulcan. Look, okay. there is the famous Santino of Capri, just for TV. And in typical Fabio fashion, we began hiking, this time down the mountain. Hiking boots? On the way down the mountain, we ran into an old lady, her herd of goats, and her dog. And Fabio, being Fabio, had to conversate with all of the above. <laughs> Fabio had one last place he wanted to take me. Villa San Miguel, built in the 19th century and owned by Axel Munth, a Swedish-born medical doctor and psychiatrist that spoke several languages. He was often known for treating poor patients for free, and he, like Fabio, had a great love for animals. On the floor at the foot of the stairs is a copy of a mosaic from Pompeii, showing a skeleton with a wine carafe and a water jug in its hands, meaning that one should enjoy life while one can, because death is always lurking around the corner. The next tattoo. After exploring Villa San Miguel, we headed down into Anacapri to do what I do best. What's inside of this? Pasta? Pasta. Mmm. Molto bene. <laughs> Mamma mia. 
Here we got the pizza with the potato, the sausage, onions, peppers. Oh. And everybody knows Fabio on the island, so we hitched a ride with one of his friends back to Capri. Okay, so I checked out of Villa Silia and into a new hotel, La Minerva, which is a good friend of Fabio and now myself. Check out this beautiful hotel. Say hi. Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me. Zach, this is the way to go to the swimming pool. Who is this guy? I don't know him. He's my bodyguard. Oh, very good. Security. Such oh. a nice guy. Look at this beautiful room. Wow. Fabio was saying, trip advisor. You guys are number one. Number one. Number one. We try to do our best. Look at this. Beautiful. So tonight is my last night. Thank God I just discovered this store because I spent a lot of money here. If you come to Capri, you have to come shopping here. This place is amazing. They have new brands, Italian brands, vintage stuff. I'm telling you, if you're a guy, you're a girl, you'll love it. Sometimes I think, sometimes I don't. Wonderland Capri. Tonight we're at Aurora, one of the best restaurants. Check out this celebrity lineup. Ronaldo, Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, Beyonce, Fabio Ferraro. Insalata di melanzane pomodori su un biscotto di grano. It's a vegan welcome for me. I have honestly no idea why I put sad music over this part of the video. It's one of the best dinners I've ever had. I guess I was just sad that I had to leave. My trip was over. <laughs> Last dinner Last of the trip. Night. Thank you for everything, brother. I love you. Uh, I love you, you too. It's very pleasure, yeah, Zach. Thank you for everything. Okay. So we will guys. see in Los Angeles. One of the best restaurants. I a lot. What do you think? You or me? Oh my God. We're both pregnant. We have twins. <laughs> the moment nobody's been waiting for. Time to go back to Canada. I'm not ready for this journey. I gotta take a cable car, then I gotta take a one hour ferry to Napoli, then I gotta take a taxi, then I gotta take a two hour train, then I gotta take another train, and then I gotta get to the airport to hopefully catch my flight. This is gonna suck. I'm not ready to leave here. Italy, I love you. Fabio, I love you. Cerbero, ti amo. I'm not ready to go. <laughs> Italia. Ci vediamo dopo. What's it like in Capri these days? It's crazy. It's crazy. But in the street, because we are in lockdown, and uh, you can go out just for uh, shopping, important shopping, like food. Uh. What do you think, uh, like some advice you could tell these Americans? Because it's just starting to happen here now. What should you, you know, a lot of my Italian friends are like, we, we didn't take it seriously, now look what happened. And they say the Americans should take it more seriously, right? Yeah, be careful, stay at home, because this uh, virus, 80% is old people. You know, like with something before, something uh, heart uh, problem, breathe problem. But now in Italy, we have also a lot young guys, like around uh, from 30 to 50. A lot of guys is in the therapy intensiva, intensive therapy. Uh, yeah, intensive care. It's like maybe like Capri 200 years ago, 100 years yeah. ago. Everybody... Uh, work in the garden, everybody put the salad, uh, mm -hmm. tomato, eggplants, zucchini, courgette, and everything. You know, like, we don't know about the work for this summer. And also the money for a, a part of people is a problem in a couple of months. So we live day by day and we think for tomorrow, not for the next week. Americans are different. They all go to the grocery store, they buy all this food, and they just think, you know, they have it for two weeks. Like they're, uh, 
a bear for hibernation. It's like, just get what you need so other people can get what they need. Go to the toilet paper, I don't know why, but the symptom of this uh, virus, it's not diarrhea, it's cold. <laughs> Is this extra large? How is uh, Cerbero? <laughs> Mi manchi Cerbero. He's old. Look, the white face. Quanti anni hai? Ten years old. How are your chickens and the birds? The chicken is the fantastic. Chicken and duck is uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Stay at home. Uh, don't meet the people. Don't meet the girl. <laughs> But this, this is very hard for you. Yeah. <laughs> Aspetta, per un minuto. You see her? Anna. Ciao. Ciao. Come stai? I'm cooking. Cooking? How are you? What are you cooking? Uh, Sugo Sunday. How are you don't say? cook the stick. No meat. No meat. I'm sorry, it's a fish. Pesce. Ah. Fabio and I chatted for hours. We caught up, had a few laughs, and exchanged some recipes. I really do miss Italy and traveling in general. So everyone, do me a favor and just stay the fuck home so I can go back to Capri this summer. And hopefully, find a new girlfriend. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay home. Stay safe. Love you all. Ciao. I would drink the whole cup. If I drink this for one week.